All right, what's up everybody? I'm here once again. Got another protein review for you. Another vegan protein. I had to try this one again. I, I've kind of, I've taken a bit of a liking to this brand just because it kind of tastes good. It's a, a vegan protein, which I like to mix in. I get a lot of whey. And so it's refreshing to have a vegan every once in a while. This is another one from Beyond Yourself. I was looking for something chocolatey to try this week. This one was brownie batter. I'm not 100% sure what the difference in taste between just the batter and the brownie itself is when you put it in protein format. However, I'll take their word for it. We'll give this one a try. So Beyond Yourself Vegan Brownie Batter. 104 calories, 1.8 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. I like the macros on it low calories, vegan protein, just what I like. But I like the flavor more than the concept. So, I mean, flavor is more important than the concept. I'll tell you in about a few seconds if I like it. So crack the seal on this one to find the ever elusive scooper if I can. Oof. This is a tricky seal, nicely. Nicely sealed. Okay, at first uh, impression, it smells just like normal protein powder. So hopefully it tastes unique. Let's get our 300 milliliters, approximately 10 ounces of water in my shaker cup. Nothing overly scientific here. Okay, and I found the shaker, right, or the scooper. I always call the scooper the shaker right at the top look at that waiting for me just upside down and let's get one full scoop of brownie batter vegan protein powder beyond yourself see if it'll come out get the dust off my hands let's get the lid on and let's give this thing a shake a quick shake, see how well it dissolves. Okay. Don't want to overshake it. We want the protein to do the talking. See if I can not make a mess this time. Ooh, maybe. No bubbles. It smells kind of earthy, planty. Mix not bad. I'm actually okay with the uh, solubility on this one. Not bad at all, let's give it a nine point. I see kind of what might resemble a floaty, but it could just be the little proteiny things in there. Let's give it a 9.3 on solubility, out of 10. Completely arbitrary, I don't do anything with these numbers. I just say them. Let's give it a taste. And see if the flavor is what I want. All right, what I do appreciate about this protein is it's really sweet. I've said it before, I like a sweet protein. Um, so you get the sweetness. I think it's, uh, what's it sweetened with? Stevia, sweet stevia. Eventually I'll figure out how to pronounce that word. Um, not overly chocolatey, I'm a little disappointed in the chocolate flavor. It's sweet, I get the sweet kick. I get a faint chocolate flavor, but not an overwhelming chocolate flavor. So the flavor is decent. I'm gonna give it high eights, like 8.8 .8 on taste. My complaint with it is that I don't get an overwhelmingly strong chocolate flavor. Maybe that's the idea behind the brownie batter is it's not cooked and so it doesn't taste as strong. I'm probably reading way too much into this. It's probably just a marketing gimmick. The batter sounds like it tastes better than the brownie itself. Although I don't know too many people who eat brownie batter. But uh, anyway, so not too bad. 8.8 .8 out of 10 for flavor. Sweet protein. I don't get any aftertaste. I don't get any... Uh, it's not an overly strong vegan protein, which is what I really like about this stuff, is you hardly know you're eating vegan. But 
at the end of the day, I could use a little bit more chocolate flavor from you beyond yourself brownie batter. Check it out if you like. I'll catch you next time.